here we have intel nuc they just come for it has a switching problem sometimes it switches on and most of the times it does not switch on so i hope it must be a basic problem of a switch so let's open and see what is the problem i just four screws on that This is an i5 with M.2 hard drive I hope. Let's open and see what is inside. Yes, there is no hard disk into this. You can see one M.2 drive. which is on the other side so we'll have to remove the motherboard first we'll have to remove the m.2 hard drive ssd there are two screws to open the motherboard We'll just unplug the hard disk cable from here so it can work easily. Keep this aside. to remove the Wi-Fi antenna cables this is the switch you just check the switch on the multimeter Which is not working. You have to hard press, then it works. Now it's not working. So this could be only a switch problem. This is an SMD switch, tactile switch. show you under the microscope this is the tactile switch so we'll just remove it Right now I don't have the spares, I'll just order the spares because this height is something different. But height of the tactile switch, this is a little bit, bit bigger than what I have. I'll order this and then I can continue with the video. Make a second part of the video I hope. So I'll just remove it. I'll apply a little bit of flux. I will try to remove it with a solder iron itself because there are plastic connectors very nearby so there is chance of burning them I 
add little bit of low melt solder so it will come out easily Low melt solder will lower the melting temperature of the leaded, unleaded solder that is on the board. It will become easier for us to remove it. Just apply a little bit of hot air. from this side so I won't burn the connector this is just to assist in removing the switch Some of the plastic on the switch might melt but we are not concerned about it right now because we have to replace the switch as it is. And that's it. Just add a little bit of solder on the pads to prepare it for soldering. switch and then I'll continue with the video yes, today the switches have arrived the tactile switch now we'll just solder it in place first I'll just solder one leg so that I can leave the switch that's it and solder the remaining four legs remaining three sorry and one more I'll just move the Which is in place. Now let's check for continuity. Yes, no. Every time I press the switch, it's beeping. I'll 
just assemble, reassemble it again and check for the display. Now we installed this Wi Fi antenna cables and just align it and install it in the casing. This has come out again. These cables are coming continuously coming out. I'll just tape them with a insulation tape or a fabric tape. Fabric tape would be better. Here I have a fabric tape. Again, it has come out. Yes, now it is fitted inside. And just put on the screws. There are only two screws holding the motherboard. One is on this side, one is here. And put the M.2 hard drive. cover there is one SATA connector and a SATA power connector on this thing and just plug it in and then you can install the top cover so the front is on this side before opening I had made a small mark this one so one more screw plug in the charger and see the power button comes on yes. the fan has started spinning CPU fan is spinning can see the hard drive light here this is blinking this is booting in windows now this is the light power indicator so we have sorted out the problem another happy customer thank you for watching please do like and subscribe the channel